Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So I'm going to show you guys the shift pattern to drive the LB Gran Turismo MC Stradale. And so far I'm not very impressed with this car. It looks amazing, but it doesn't seem to be much of a dyno beater. Um, it's, this is the best shift pattern I've come up with so far. If you don't know how to tune a car, I know people are always going to ask about tuning, but... If you don't know how to tune your cars, please check out my tuning playlist. You cannot just copy somebody else's tune because even adding a couple of fusion parts can drastically change the way your car needs to be tuned, okay? So if you copy somebody else's tune, that could be a terrible tune for your car. You got to learn to do it yourself. So check out my tuning playlist. I got a video on there that most people seem to love. It shows you which order you need to tune the parts in and all kinds of stuff. And that's different for every car. So for this guy, we're going to let go of the gas a little bit after number one. Shortly after you launch, you're going to shift into second gear and then hit your nitrous. And then all good shifts after that. This one's pretty easy to drive. Maybe somebody will come out with a better shift pattern, but I can't really find one that's going to beat your dyno by much. It's very, very hard to hit your dyno on this car. But anyways, let's give this one a go. Three, two, one, let go. Second and nitrous. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and that's about it. All right, not much of a dyno beating car, but it is a beautiful car. It, the evil points are pretty decent. EVO, I know some people say it sounds like I say evil, but I'm saying EVO points. They're at 918. It's still not maxed out yet, so they'll probably get up over 1,000, which is nice. Because that'll earn nice RP in live racing if you can win races. Due to the fact that it's not much of a dyno beating car, it's going to be hard to live win lives. We got a 12.526 with a dyno time of a 12.481. So we're getting really close to dyno, but we're not beating it here. Maybe somebody will come out with a better shift pattern. I don't know, but we're just going to go ahead and do another run or two on this guy. So you guys kind of get the idea of how to drive it. So, three, two, one, let go. Second, nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Pretty easy to drive. I've tried all kinds of different shift patterns and everything else runs slower than this one. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna be the best shift pattern for this car. They got a 12.514. One thing we could try and do is let go of the gas around number two instead of number one. Let's give that a go on this try. I'm pretty sure I did that and it didn't work, but I'm going to try it again. Three, two, one, go. Second and nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Are we faster or are we slower? We'll find out here. But anyways, I'm a little disappointed that this thing's not much of a dyno beater because it looks really cool. Yeah, that was a lot slower. It's got the stars, it's got the Evo points, but it just doesn't have the dyno beating, which is quite a bummer. So let's go ahead and do one more test run, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and end this video. Everybody, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell and tell it to notify you when I make new videos. And I appreciate everybody who watches these things. You guys are awesome. Thank you. But here we go, one last run. All right, three, two, one, go. Second and nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. That's all she wrote, six gears on this guy. I must have changed my tune because I'm pretty sure I was doing 210 miles per hour. There I got 12.502, so I'm getting very, very close to my dyno, but I'm not beating it on this car. So I just have a feeling this car is not going to be a dyno beating car. So anyways, I think that wraps this one up, and I will catch you guys later, alright? See ya!